On Wednesday, August 21st, 2019, I called my medical transportation at around 8.30 in the morning, and I set my medical transportation to pick me up at around 3 that afternoon to go to Albertson's Pharmacy on River and La Cañada. At 3.06 p.m. on the day in question, a black car pulled up to our address on the corner of Circle K and Valero. When I got into the back of the guy's cab, the first thing I noticed was that his fucking sun visor was still in his windshield while he was driving, and that only a small portion of the driver's side was just barely pulled down to the steering wheel, just barely enough for the driver to see out. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here. But don't driving rules specify that your windshield must be free of all obstacles when the motor vehicle is in operation? Check this shit out. I took these pictures in secret from the back seat of the cab and immediately posted them on Facebook. And here's the post. I said, I just left my house in a Veo cab to pick up prescriptions. Check out how this motherfucker drives his cab. Unsafe. Wish I had my GoPro. And my friend Gary comments, Looks like no seatbelt and crap blocking what he needs to see. Crap like this is why I drive, take a bus, or get a ride from a friend. One time Veo had me waiting four hours post-operation. Had to call Yellow Cab to get home. Never got my money back. They would be too late to get to an appointment on time, so I would cancel and they would seriously still want to take me anyway. Told them no revenue for your company if you are late. And trust me when I say this, Gary, it ain't just like that here in Tucson. When I was living in Texas and I was at wound care waiting for a cab to take me back home after my appointment, I waited over two and a half hours for the person to come and pick me up. And it wasn't even that busy. And this was in Paris, Texas.